The outcome was never really in question, only its legitimacy. Bypassing the constitution that bans a president from running for a third term, one-time Sandinista revolutionary Daniel Ortega was declared the winner. He did not make an immediate appearance, but his overjoyed supporters did. Ortega is our president now and always, said this voter. Opponents, including former allies, say the price of Ortega's re-election is democracy. Ortega represents the idea of destroying law, destroying constitution, uh, ignoring the, the judicial system, and to be authoritarian. There were nagging allegations of voting irregularities, especially in areas where the leading opposition party is believed to have strong support, such as at this polling station. The votes in this classroom are being counted one by one, but here, as in other places, there is no election monitor from the main opposition party because, we are told, their representatives were denied the proper credentials. <laughs> Despite the controversy, Ortega has widespread support, boosted by generous aid from Venezuela to finance social programs for the poor, as well as macroeconomic policies that have endeared the born-again Christian to the private sector and the church. You can also argue that the re-election of President Ortega is of doubtful legality. But what you cannot argue is that in this country we have had a political realignment. This is a government that has delivered what for you and I is an irrelevant thing, small things. Uh, 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 how do you call it? Uh, Think roofs. But for them, it's like if they gave you a Maserati. Because their expectations of life are so low and their needs are so overwhelming. But big questions remain. Will Ortega use his increased powers to change the Constitution to get rid of the bothersome term limits once and for all? And will his opponents take their defeat lying down? Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera, Managua.